Look at the control right against the wall. You see me getting the delay spot. I, I got it off. I shut it off. The, the switch is behind here. It's a cleaning. You know, it's starting rough. So the switch is behind the boiler here. Start with the filter. See what we can do here. This is a new customer, so looks like it's all full of lint. See, so it hasn't been cleaned in a while. See a little loose. Into a tank, you can see it comes off the bottom. You we'll have to see how dirty this is. Yeah, ain't too bad, but. comes in handy. That one's good to make sure we get a good flow of oil coming out. I'm going to check the pump filter on this one too. Yes sir. Pretty clean there, see it? A little bit of muck, but not bad. Not bad at all.
You can just put a new one in there. A lot of times I'll just clean them. It's not a big deal. Probably all carbon on the head. Retention head's probably filthy. Complaining about it starting rough. An explosion, she said. <laughs> Take that retaining nut off there, see? Take that nut off. I usually leave it right on a right on a jet tube. She's dirty. I need a new nozzle. See how high them electrodes are. I'm gonna bring them down too. I clean the head with a screwdriver. Knock any carbon off. That serves two purposes. It knocks the carbon off and it lets me know if the head's broken. See the restrictor plate in there? That's only used on like 0.75 and lower. Filters clean, and this nozzle's just dirty.
And the carburetor cleaner cleans it right up nice, yeah. Takes the carbon right off it. It's a carburetor cleaner, that's all it is. I want to clean this plate off so it reflects the light. And tell it's a small burner, see how big this plate is? It's a small burner. A big nozzle burner would have a smaller plate. I run a 75 in there, see, and it's got the restrictor plate. Three quarters and five eighths. And on these here, I just grab it and, and bend it in a little bit. Get the electrodes a little closer. All right, that should be good. That should fire up nice. I still have to bleed the air out of the pump. Once we get it running, we could check the draft over the fire and see if there's a, a negative, if it's a positive boilers full of soot. Right. I don't think it is because the. Uh, and see the door. If this thing was all full of soot, this would be all burnt. We'll check it. Get the bottom of the filter, all the muck. Pretty bad. I'll open up the tank and then we'll bleed the pump. <clears throat> I'm gonna start up the burner, then I'm gonna jump out FF just to keep it running so I could prime the pump. With that on there, it won't start. I'll show you. I'll turn the switch on. 
the burner won't start because I got FF jumped out. Obviously there's air inside the, uh, the filter, I left air in there, so I'm going to give it a good purge. A couple of turns. When I pull this off, it's going to start, and then I'll put it back on. That's going to trip the cat, so... I'm going to give it all the air. I left the air inside the, um, the filter room. If you don't jump out the FF, the burner shuts off on safety. It's just to bleed the air out, that's it. And take it off. Here comes the oil. Alright, so we're getting a good flow there. my finger off that button it was fire pushing the button down assembly. We're getting a good draft over the fire so she's not choked. I don't always pull them apart. It depends. Every situation is different. This one's fine. Brush is good at 20. She's really good. She's fine. She's good for another year. Filter at tank, blue nozzle, got burner, reset electrodes, cleaned, draw assembly, good oil flow, and draft over fire. So we're good to go. Two zones with a storage tank. 